They've played 257 times Duke and North Carolina, but never on this stage. The greatest rivalry in all of college basketball. It'll be epic. How many times does a game with this much buildup not only deliver, but exceed even your wildest expectations? Hubert, that was an amazing Saturday night for all of us that watched it. What was it like to experience that Duke Carolina game in the Final Four in front of 70,000 people at the Superdome? Well, I mean, the atmosphere was off the chart, you know, as, as a player and as a coach. I've been a part of some big time atmospheres and at the top of the list was last night. It was just electric. You could see it, you can smell it, you could touch it. And to have Duke Carolina in the Final Four on that stage with so many storylines, you know, everyone says that Duke Carolina had always delivered and it, it delivered last night. What was it like to be in a pressure pack situation as well? And your players yet again responded and came up with the key play when they needed to most. High off the glass, followed up by Baycott. And Davis will set and shoot. Unbelievable. Love, scoop, yes. Manic, oh, what a shot, it's a three. Love, Ooh. top of the key. Oh, big time delivery. This is a place that we've excelled. This is a place that we've made plays on both ends of the floor. And that's all we need to do. And I just, having those shared experiences to grab onto, to, to put you in a place of peace and confidence is something that I think really allowed us to make plays and end up beating an unbelievable Duke team last night. And the fairy tale ride for the Tar Heels continues. 81 to 77 in a heart stopper. It brings so much joy to me to see these guys have a smile on their face and come up big. This is a beautiful moment. I tell you, like everyone is rooting for you. I mean, everyone is really just celebrating your success. What, what does it mean to you that the Carolina family is all behind you? I really appreciate it, but it, it really doesn't mean anything to me. I, I want them to support the kids. I'm, I'm not doing this for me. I, I already played. That, that was my time. It's their time now. I really believe that. I want their support. That's great, but I want their support for our program and for these kids. That's where it needs to be. If you are fortunate in your first year to cut down the nets on Monday night, who do you think you're gonna think of first? My family my wife, my kids. You know, people talk about the impact about it has made on my life. It's been a huge impact on my family's life. I think about my relationship with Jesus and him opening up this opportunity for me to be a part of this and to have these experiences. And so if I'm fortunate enough to be able to cut down those nets and be a national champion, those are the two things that I would think about.